Before we head to the content full of food and recipes, I want to share with you how I actually got into Georgia in the first place. So there's a night train heading from the capital of Armenia, Yerevan, to Georgia, Tbilisi. We thought, why should we take a flight when we can do something different? So ah. let's settle in our cabin where we're gonna spend 10 hours. After spending all day walking, I could have slept all the way, but around 4.30 a.m. you have to present yourself at the police border window and get a stamp, leaving Armenia and doing the same before for entering Georgia. Welcome to Georgia. The morning views were so gorgeous. So finally, once we reached destination, we found ourselves hungry. The smell of freshly baked bread was torturing us. Soon we understood that this meal is called kachapuri and kinkali which were so popular here. So many restaurants were offering this meal on their menu. So we decided not to only try these meals, but also engage with the locals and try making ourselves. It always tastes better when you make it with your own hands. So this time I'm in the beautiful Georgia. And I already have one special class book with a chef, Irina. So, let's go straight away to her house and see what's waiting for us. Now is in Kacheti region, it is our wine region. So we're starting our experience with a glass of local wine. Yes. Are you ready? We are. We, are, we, are. we got okay. a warmer welcome than we expected. So after welcoming drink, we're gonna start with Kinkali. This though is probably the most simple in the world to make. No mixers, no equipment, just hands. Flour, salt and water get mixed together and then we stretch the dough on the wooden surface till the dough is not sticky and becomes elastic. Now, let's put it on the side and do the filling. Traditionally, it's made with meat, but since me and Alejandro chose a vegetarian diet, we go for potato and cheese filling. And who could say that potatoes are ever a bad idea? So we are using the local cheese called Inaruli. This cheese has a soft texture with a slightly sour, salty taste. So by the way, we add some salt and black ground pepper. Then for the nicer texture, we add some spoons of oil. Olive oil, corn oil, please. Now, let's come back to our dough. It has relaxed, so it's gonna be easier to roll. So we roll one side, turn and roll again. Repeat this exercise till we achieve yes. around 3 mm mm thickness. Enough. As a cutter, we're gonna use glasses, so simply press and remove the circles. We still need to work on them, as we need thinner and wider circles. However, be careful and do not roll too thin, as otherwise they will open while boiling. Just like this one seems perfect. Let's finish the rest of them. The most artistic part is on the way. We take one circle and fill with the potato mixture and pleat the dough edge, gathering top like a pasta and close filling. When you have pleated all the way around, pinch top edges together firmly so you make sure the kinkale is sealed firmly. All take together, press well, close well, this side. Mm -hmm. Fast. Yeah, because I already have experience, no? So let's check on Alejandro. I see he's trying to do every step perfectly, yeah, slowly but steadily. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> Yeah, it looks so perfect. Yeah. As much as he enjoyed it, he decided to give me an Irina pleasure to finish the rest. Irina told us that people here also like to take kinkali from the top with their fingers and eat like that. She also revealed that people also love fried version. They boil it first, of course, and then fry it in some butter. Now we're gonna pop them all in slightly salted boiling water. If it's filled with meat, then it takes around 6-7 minutes to boil. For the vegetarian options, as we do now, it takes around 4-5 minutes. When we see them floating and the dough is shining, we can tell that they are ready. Irina is showing us a simple trick. She turns off the gas, takes around half a liter of cold water and pours over kinkali. It helps to get rid of the puffiness and we make sure they don't stick together. Finish. 
we take them out with a spider and serve with some cream. The best with sour cream. Normally, according to Irina, a right portion is around 10 kcalorie per person. Do you think sounds a lot? You must try them to see if it's too much or too little. However, we didn't reach the recommended amount. As soon, we are going to prepare another sensational meal, a Jarian Kachapuri. Really, really nice. To make a chapuri, we need well roasted dough, so we're gonna prepare it in advance, mixing the dough in few parts. Mix dry ingredients together, followed by vegetable oil and butter. Finally, finish the dough by adding egg and Greek yogurt. Mix well, and the minimum resting time is 2 hours. The best flavor version you will achieve leaving the dough to rest for a few days. So, we stretch the dough into a thin circle, then we're gonna do a secret step which gives kachapuri extra flavor. We're gonna stuff the sides with cheese by rolling the sides towards the middle. I'm following Irina very carefully and making sure we seal the ends very very well. Now my fingers roll, look, one and two and full close. Oh. Close dough like this. Oh like this? Yes. We don't give them any resting time. Straight away we're putting them on the tin and separating the sides, making this shape so we have enough space to fill the center. This side close well for cheese, like this. This side close too. It is whole egg and water together, a little bit water, only around. Okay, and finish. Look, I put cheese inside. So it's the same cheese as we used earlier? Yes, yes, it is Imeruli. Now, they heat the oven and we bake them for 10 minutes. In the meantime, we separate two egg yolks. We then carefully in the center and bake for one more minute. Egg yolk will still be running, that's what we want. Look at that, Irina even has a special plate for kachapuri. Now, traditionally, only a slice of butter is missing. Before eating, we mix all these ingredients together. Together, all ingredients, butter, egg and cheese mix well. So this is also a special way how to eat it. So wow. since I'm not a big fan of wow. you, yes. we're giving yes. one extra wow. for Alejandro. <laughs> for Alejandro, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Please mix together. Yes. That's it. And this is. So that's where we end the video because they're really warm. So we hurry up and we want to eat them as fresh as possible. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Oops. Please come back. Come back. <laughs>